The only reason why I, I'm not playing this game, and I know a bunch of other people are not playing this game, is because we know that it's not worth it to get fucking bullied endlessly and called transphobic endlessly in, in, in when we have massive uh, queer communities and audiences. That's it. Everybody, everybody knows, everybody fucking knows how much leftist motherfuckers love to chirp on the internet. They got no power. All they do is chirp, chirp, chirp. And that's precisely why so many fucking people that would otherwise like play it, maybe even raise money for, uh, you know, charities or whatever. Um, you know, they're, they're not doing it. I knew that this was going to happen. That's why I wanted to set it up ahead of time. I got fucking yelled at. Uh, endlessly and relentlessly uh, on my alt account. Like they were making it seem like I was already transphobic for even thinking about this. And now look at that. You say they have no power, but then you, but then you would not even, even attempt to play this game because you're afraid of being called out by your own community. Then if you can't handle some sort of criticism from playing a video game, first of all, you get mad for playing a video game that JK Rowling had no had nothing to do about this is all on the devs that played this game you, that's who's really hurting when you actually think about it people who are boycotting this game they are boycotting the game the game developers who work their asses off to make sure that you guys can enjoy a good game me personally i'm not getting the hardcore legacy harry, harry potter games that never really really been my thing but i'm not gonna stop but that's not gonna stop me from telling people, hey, y'all should enjoy this game if you guys enjoy it. You guys should not be, uh, you know, fixated on some sort of backlash because some people are mad at J.K. Rowling again, who had nothing to do who had nothing to do with this game. She may own the Harry Potter, the Harry Potter name, but as far as this game goes, she may get a portion a portion of it, but she did not make this game. The game developers who made Harry Potter Legacy did, and this is what see this is what's really crazy about things nowadays. Like, the culture war has made the left so goddamn entitled that you can't enjoy a game. And the fact that people are are so fixated on not being called out by, by, by some people where either you're uh, racist, sexist, transphobic, you can't do anything to enjoy, to enjoy yourself anymore because the entitlement from the left which uh, Hassan Apica said right here, he's going to not take that backlash. This thing. If you can't take the backlash, do not be a streamer. Because there's going to be some sort of backlash or criticism wherever you go. Especially when you being on uh, Twitch, YouTube, Rumble, uh, Congress, wherever you, you, you know, wherever you are, you're going to face some sort of criticism. If you, if you can't handle criticism, get the hell out of the kitchen. Because there is a bunch of things that are that is really wrong when it, when it pertains to the to the far left and what they feel like you need to be doing. They are telling you, actually no, they are forcing you to go with their narrative. And if you don't go with their narrative, you're a bigot, you're a racist, you're tra you're transphobic, you're this, this, and that. All you're, yeah, you're a Nazi and all those those stupid names that doesn't mean anything anymore because the left toss toss it out with anybody that doesn't agree with it, you know agree with the narrative. It's 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 crazy at this point how we got to this point where you enjoying the game makes you some type of phobic, some type of phobic, and people can people can can I enjoy enjoy a good game? Like I said, I'm not buying this game. It's not it's not for me. I'm not I'm not really for Harry Potter games. But that that should not stop you guys from from enjoying the game if the game is good. But let's also read look at this article from the uh, Games Hub, and this is why I say gaming journalism gaming journalism is dead. Hogwarts Legacy does not des deserve to be re reviewed on its own merit. To judge a creation purely on its own merit is often lauded laud as a fair and positive method of review. Why should a bad game be praised just because it comes from a normally brilliant creator? Why should a good one be vilified just because the, the, the mind that inspired it is ignorant and hateful? If something is good, we should be able to enjoy and endorse it, even if we acknowledge the faults of its progenitor. Perhaps even... More or so, when the creation takes steps to distance itself from those now tainted roots and offer support to the people who are wrong, an objective stance will only be fair. I think it would be nice to feel. I bet I'm sorry. It would be. I bet it would feel nice to be fair to judge Hogwarts Legacy by its own merits. Look at the strides. Okay, let me let me just, let me just skip it. Let me just skip that. I want to make it clear to you that right now, that as a transgender individual, I have no interest in the, in that kind of fairness or objectivity when it comes to Hogwarts Legacy. I fear a moral imperative to impose 
Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy cannot and should not be judged solely on its own merits because the end result of supporting the, this game financially and socially is simply a matter of how much you enjoy it or how nostalgic it might be to experience the world of Harry Potter. If you purchase the, this game, if you praise its qualities and encourage others to support the developers or treat yourself to a guilty pleasure, you are making the choice that will harm the transgender community whether you want to admit it or not. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Enjoying the game does does not make you harmful to trans people. You are just being a entitled little bitch. That's what you are. Because if you were, if you were, take something that J.K. Rowling said and take it towards this game that has nothing to do with, with J.K. Rowling, it has something to do with the, the, the developers, the developers who make this game. Then you are being a entitled little bitch. That's what you are. So. The state, this statement might seem like a quite of a stretch at first glance, but for, for the sake of clarity, let's break it down. If you buy Hogwarts Legacy, you are doing three significant things. You are directly supporting the royalty checks J.K. Rowling will receive for the use of Harry Potter intellectual property. Of course, because she owns Harry Potter. What I mean, what else is there? You are financially signaling to the wider market that the Harry Potter IP is a profitable space like likely worth investing in with future titles you are socially engaging with ip and potentially broadening its audience encouraging others to engage with it as well the this inevitably leads to more people being exposed to violence hateful beliefs and potentially adopting it themselves oh my god these people these people are such god damn pansies game hub has already detailed a small example of the ex extensive transphobic reddit that rather spreads to our audience as well as the comfort and support she draws from the royalties occur by the use of the Harry Potter IP, it is a fact that she leverages her wealth and platform to support transphobic legislation. Even though she's not in Congress, and she, Jake, let's not forget that J.K. Rowling is a far left, is a far leftist. She hates like anything remotely that is not Democrat. So that's a false nether right there. And that hate groups uses her name to muster support for openly transphobic movements. I don't, I do not need to prove that she's a trans exclusively. Radical feminist. She has openly identified with that label. So again, people are, are getting mad over something that's not even that doesn't even need, need to get mad for. People are getting mad because people are enjoying a game. People are want to enjoy a, a video game, and this is why this is this is why the far left has made everything not so good anymore. This, this is why we got shows like Velma, a a show that I want to review for the for. You guys, because I'm I'm pretty sure some of you guys are not even watching that. But when you have some people out here that are that are taking their sensitivity and put and pushing it towards people who want to enjoy a game, then they are pushing their entitled their, their entitlement towards you. They are trying to force you to do something that they would not do, or that some people do want to play it, but they know if they did, they would they would get some backlash. I would say again, if you can't handle backlash, get the fuck off the internet, guys. This is. This is blatant. This is just full blown stupidity. You can't even enjoy a game without being labeled as something, man, for real. But uh, that's all I want to get get out of here, man. Let me know what you think, think about it in the comments below. If you got something to say, like, I'm subscribed to the video. Hit the notification bell. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.